select all this oops select all this table object and make then uh, uh select all and make then a uh, fractional fractional collection like so now because <coughs> i create um So, so there you have it. Uh, you have all the scene are uh, are properly set up. So, for the motion of the female, quite simple. You just, I just, I just set a key. I just set a key for his body horizontal. So he, so when Browning simulation, she will fall down to toward the desk. And another thing is the the table. Uh, you just apply uh, fracture, fracture um, collection, and. Uh, Create uh, four legs for the table. Uh, the leg is just a simple, simple box, and uh, include those simple box to to the racket body collection. Yeah. Uh, run the simulation. The desk will automatically break uh, because of the this this uh, ragdoll object. In this tutorial, I create a scene with a character jump and uh, and catch the uh, catch this bar and. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah this is the result. So um, um, there's two motion for the character. One is jump. The, for the jump, I use uh, uh, I use a motion capture file and uh, modify it. Modify the the. The uh, rotation and the uh, movement of the uh, character arm, and uh, once the once the character character's hand touch this bar, I would begin. Uh, Simulation. I create a, a yeah. I create point point uh, constraint. Um, as I mentioned before, and use the this bar as a parent, uh, by the left hand or right hand as a child, and. Uh, from this friend, from the friend 19, run the simulation. So you will see this result just by using the two uh, point to point constraint. So this also a very simple, actually very simple very simple thing, very simple tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I create a, a character jump and uh, 
landing on the building, on the top of the building. So, um, um, it's very simple. Um, there's two motion for the character. One is uh, jump by using the reactor uh, reactor max script, and uh, another is uh, landing. I landing is. Um, Key finding manually. So how to create a character jump? Um, use, using the same idea, you use go to the motion panel and use the body vertical. And from the friend zero, set a key, and from friend three, and move it vertically. So, and uh, set the reactor simulation start from friend three. So, the re uh, reactor max script will use the um, momentum between these two uh, friends and create the motion for the character jump. To set a, a good character jump motion, um, uh, you, you have to uh, you have to modify the gravity, the value of the gravity and uh, the mass of each body part, each body bone, each character, each biped bone, try to change the mass and uh, because the biped have to land in on the building so you you also have to uh, in the frame at the frame 3 uh, you ha also have to uh, move it a little bit forward to the building. So therefore, when he jump, when the running the simulation, the biped, the character will jump forward to the direction of the building. In this scene, two characters running and bump each other in the floor. Um, very simple. Create two character and load and uh, load load up a uh, motion capture file. For the two character and uh, the from here from this point, start. About uh, friend fifty one, start the reactor simulation. As you can see, um, automatically the the reactor and the reactor max strip will create a motion for the two counter bumping each other. Um, in this tutorial, um, I create a biped and uh, fall down from a stair. And I think I don't have to ex explain too much. Um, it's just a, a very simple biped, and uh, <coughs> same procedure as I as I as I mentioned in the beginning. In the other tutorial, and uh, one one thing to know that um, for each bone I set to uh, um, 
um, some bone are set to a uh, mass value about 0.1, some are uh, 5. Um, to, to get the character falling naturally, you have to play around with the mass. Uh, uh, change uh, different uh, each bone with a dif different mass. Uh, therefore, uh, the character will fall more naturally. Um, in this tutorial, I create uh, um, as you can see. I create a, a, a biped uh, uh, with a balloon. Yeah. Um, how to do that? Uh, how to do this effect? Um, uh, actually, um, yeah, this is is a. Uh, uh, object uh, geometry for the balloon. Um, however, uh, the balloon is not involved in the reactor simulation. I create a, a box, and then I put a wing object. So, um, the wing object push the box, and uh, the 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 rope. The rope attached to this box and the biped attached to the rope so um, when the box uh, are pushed by the wind therefore the also the biped is uh, uh, so the final result looks like the biped are um, flying uh, with the balloon Actually, it's a fake. Uh, I just fake that. So, um, so as I mentioned in the black hole down tutorial, um, this robot is very simple. Um, it just uh, it is is just a line, and the line uh, apply a. Uh, Normalize spline no modifier and uh, apply a reactor rectal modifier and go to the vertex level and uh, select select those vertices and uh, use this attach to reggae body button and uh, and uh, select the uh, the box. Also for the hand, go to the vertex level select. Select the vertices and uh, use this button and select um, select biped uh, uh, left hand. Yeah. Um, put the Y object. Y one is here. Y object. And uh, set the uh, wind speed to uh, three uh, three thousand speed. So as you can see, <coughs> um, this this uh, this to this simulation is quite simple. And uh, if you change the Performance subset to one. Let's see what's the difference. Oh, no, <coughs> that's not good. <coughs> so what else? Um, I set the gravity value to very low to minus minus hundred. If I set to six hundred, what's the difference? Yet. If you set gravity to high, 
then the balloon will not uh, fly in, it, it will fall. Um, in this tutorial, I create a um, 